Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today, I'm going to share a firm review based on the European firm movement at the firm Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a musical fantasy firm released in 2005, directed by Tim Burton. It is written by John August based on a 1964 British novel of the same name by Roald Dahl. The film stars Johnny Depp, Freddie Highmore, David Kelly, Deep Roy, and Christopher Lee. The storyline of the film tells that Charlie wins the contest with four other children and is led by one car on a tour of his chocolate factory. The elements of the European film movement such as French Impressionism, Surrealism, and German Expressionism that can be seen in the film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory will be discussed in today's review. First, let us look at the French Impressionism. French Impressionism is a style of the Impressionist movement partly stems from the director's belief in film as an art form. One of the elements that can be seen in the film is the situation may trigger memories, flashbacks, and characters' desire. In the film, when they are on the pink dragon boat at the Chocolate River, Charlie asks one kind of question, which is, do you even remember what it was like being a kid? This had made Wong Ka start to flash back what happened when he was a kid. This has not only happened once in the film, there is another scene that made Wong Ka flash back to the time when he was young. The flashback of Wong Ka explains the reason why he will open a chocolate factory and also reveals the character's mental state, dreams, memories, and fantasies. Thus, the other film movement that can be seen in the film is Surrealism. Surrealism is a technique that relies on the juxtaposition of symbols, image, or actions to create a world outside of reality. Wong Kar's Chocolate Factory is full of surprise that people can't think of. It has a wonderful view of the Chocolate River, a group of trans squirrels to get the nuts out of the shelves in the nut sorting room, the workers of the factory, which is Oompa Loompas from Loompa Land, and so on. Everything in the chocolate factory is full of imagination, and it is a world outside of reality because it will not appear in the real world. One cast chocolate factory gives people a sense of escape from reality because everything inside the chocolate factory is an experience that people could not experience in reality. Lastly, it's the German Expressionism. German Expressionism is a style that is often contrary to typical Western movies and abundance reality. This film movement began emphasizing the exaggeration of scenery, costumes, and lighting. In the film, we can see that the Barker's family's house is located individually from the town. They live in a house that is leaning in all directions, which shows the family is very poor. The window and the door of their house are not in symmetry. In that house, Charlie sleeps in an attic that is open to the weather. His four grandparents all sleep in the same bed, two on one side and two on the other. Moreover, the low-key lighting is used in Charlie's house to show that the reality of his life is living in poverty, while the lighting used in one cast chocolate factory such as high-key lighting to represent fantasy shows that it is every kid's dream to visit it. In conclusion, Tim Burton's amazing film technique makes the film have more variety and there are also some scenes that could be related to the element of the film movement in the film. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory has a very interesting concept that will attract people to watch. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye!